Oh yeah, this is what I try to do on my channel, is share the knowledge of homemade diesel fuel. Like viscosities, filtration and everything. Trying to help people save money. Now, the stuff I've been going through running straight used motor oil, yes, I kind of expected it because it was not designed or set up to run on straight motor oil. But from me going through all this and figuring this out, I'm doing all the grunt work for other people so they can set up to run on straight motor oil as well. Just like my regular homemade diesel fuel. All my other videos are talking about fuel systems are already set up so you don't have to change much on them. But now I'm trying to run straight used motor oil on Stinky Pete. So if I get this all figured out, people can run their vehicles or houses or heat off straight motor oil and save a lot of money on fuel. And those are like the people that want to do the work, that have access to that much used motor oil. But some of the things I've learned on this trip, this electric fuel pump I was using, two things. One, it was not pumping enough volume to keep up with the injection pump. The second thing that happened, this regulator that you adjust the screw for how much pressure it puts out, either clogged up or something mechanically happened inside and overpressurized the fuel system. So when I get home, I'll get one of those, I think it's like a bulldog fuel system that mounts on the frame. That should eliminate all that issue. You should have the volume, pressure, and regulator all done. And I believe it even has fuel filters on it as well. Still keeping the heat exchanger to make sure I could thin out that motor oil with heat. I think another issue I had, I think the issue was the banjo bolt on the return line. I think the ports were too small and not letting enough flow back to the fuel tank. So I'll take care of that when I get home as well. But to finish the rest of my trip to get back home, I added uh, about like 8% gasoline to the straight used motor oil. So now I can run through the factory fuel system. I also bypass the heat exchanger and the primary fuel filter as well. So I'm going to get home. I'll work out more details and better systems and trial and error to figure this all out. You know, when I was figuring out my homemade diesel fuel, it was a little over a year of trial and error and figuring out mixtures. But thank you all for your support on my channels. And I'll keep making content as I go on.